Right, here we are again, checking to see how the Pudakawa seeds have gone. It's been some time, I can't even remember when I sowed these because I didn't put a date on the tag. Big mistake. Anyway, you'll be able to see that there are seedlings coming up. Unfortunately, between now and when I did the video of the sowing, I ended up in hospital, had surgery, been recovering. So I put the seed trays in a larger tray and put water in this. So when I was away, it kept them damp. It sort of worked, but it looks like it's killed off some. But I'll show you a closer look. Right, we just need to leave these grow a little bit bigger. And the next time we see these plants, we'll be potting them into individual pots. I often get asked, uh, how do I grow these plants and what sort of infrastructure I have? It's all very basic, it's all very cheap. All this recycled stuff, this is just old um, fiberglass sheeting that's semi-transparent, old poles I had lying around. Uh, this is facing north and this is my winter growing, usually where I grow the cowdy when I collect in March and then grow through the winter before I pot them up. That's why I built this is so it's uh, warm, gets the sunlight through the winter. It's a pretty basic construction. It has recycled timber for a shelf and it has these two corrugated iron shutters that come down to keep the wind out of it, which I'll show you. The shutters are really handy in the winter. This helps keep keep the heat in and also keeps the wind off it. Once again, it's just old Coriolan I had lying around, some hinges, very simple. The other thing it has is a very simple irrigation system, just running off a tap, pretty low pressure here. So I just have sprays that come all the way back to the front here, and the fine mists, and that's how I water the plants. I hope that of some use to you guys and see you next time.